Hi, welcome. Um, I don't know if you realize the last videos were, of course, a little bit technical, but it gives you a lot of freedom. It gives you the possibility to add applications like we're going to do an exercise to install Brave on your own personal repository. So the two things you can do with your own repository, you can just build a package and put it there, done. And when you want to install it, you type sudo pacman minus s brave slash min uh, bin. And it's super fast installed since it's already packaged. You don't need to build it. The other way to install the same package is with a yay minus s and then brave bin. If you know the name, you can actually exactly type it and that's that's fine. But it will be built at that point in time and take longer. The second thing that's interesting is that if you are venturing your world into Arch Linux B, building your own ISO, then you can add this package that's actually just available only on AOR and nowhere else. But well, yeah, I've done already the exercise and it's now available on my teaching repo. But normally it's just here and you can never add things to your Arch Linux B that are not on Arch Linux, Arch Linux, and whatever we put on our Arch Linux repo ISO, which is a lot coming from AOR, but not Brave Bin. So let's go through the motions again. Uh, you see it's installed already via the repo, but what did I do? You go to, let's go to a clean browser with no tabs open, Google is that for me. Well, Chromium. We go to AOR and we take a look at what we want. It's called, come on Eric, what is it called again? Brave, Eric, Brave, and then Bin. And it's getting late, but I want to make this video. So Brave Bin, Arch Linux, it's version this and so, and then you download the snapshot. That's what I do always. Open it up again, show in folder. We have this that we can kill, that can go, that can go. Okay, extract here. This we don't need it anymore. This we don't need either. So we have this brave bin folder. It contains the way to build the package. It's not the package itself. It's the way to build it, a recipe on time, time I say. If we take this folder and we Got it, we don't need it here. We're gonna put it in a separate place, a place where we're gonna put all our package builds. This is our package build. Let's move that guy to the desktop and control V. So we have a package, a, a folder with all the things, ingredients to cook something up. So really a recipe. And we're going to build something new. Now in the video I've made it, I created something a build version 1 sh which is going to build it in a shroot environment and you need to watch the video if you don't know what it is so i'm going to get this one as well and put it in brave bin and version 1 because of the fact that you're going to make hundreds of package builds and then you know i've improved my build and it's called version 2 now okay so you get the lot the last best most efficient a build script that you made. Now before I do anything, before I build it officially, I'm gonna always test it. So with a right mouse click open, we're gonna do a make package. And then it's going to see what it's going to do, what is uh, is it successful, are there errors, uh, do I need to do anything? So it's going to download a source folder in here, it's going to put the source that it finds, let's put everything in the place where it should be, like so. We'll have to wait, oh, there it is. We'll have to wait, I wanted to say, but it's already downloaded here, the source. These are links to one level up. Let me show properties. So a few levels up in here, you'll find the source and that's the location. And in here is the actual, well, application. And it's already finished. Meaning, he did whatever he needed to do in the package build and he built himself a user and then the bin in here is going to be the brave libraries, brave bin, lots of libraries, locales, which means languages often, 
share application a brave bin desktop so we have a nice icon oh it's not in here so internet 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 network brave so uh, it still needs to come on the plank i see but anyway um that's where it is and then some licenses and pix maps to have an image but whatever image with your our icons so that's the technicality of the story so fine it builds that's the only thing i want to know it's going to work here is your executable if we can say that your package which is going to end in package store exit this is the original that's going to be built let's see what the content is licenses okay that can go and the package build so we're back to square one this is what it was prior to the package build what we're now going to do is do a clean shoot so using the command build version one we're going to build exactly the same package but it's going to be actually in our shroot in this environment is going to build things but i believe i deleted a little bit too much in here and in the trash i'm gonna find something that i should not have removed restore so that's the one that he needs try again my friend and this time he went past it so he found the brave bin he found this he found that he found this he found that i said okay let's build it and he's off building it so like i said it's going to be in here that is going to have this eric thing uh somewhere he's going to build it in here and that's the root one and that's the eric one i did find it last time but i must say i really don't know where to look again but he's building this package i see here source package destination source destination but in a few moments time everything will be gone again package destination uh-huh we see something brave bin in here but soon enough you'll see that everything is gone when it's done compressing and done working with this package it takes a while it's a big one it's 70 megabyte which is pretty much uh not okay but github has its limitations it uh, cuts off at 100 megabyte at 70 megabyte it will complain but it will let you put it online so that's why if you see that some packages disappear and are put into our nemesis script is because they're just too big to be on github or on, on well github is actually the bottleneck not seat host and there we'll build it later on with our nemesis script but it's okay finished making it fine so that means if we go back and 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 back oh let's go the easy way this one that one that one that one and that one so this package is the one we've created in the shroud so let's get rid of the rubbish again rubbish and that's why i have scripts these scripts clean up my rubbish for me so this is the one that needs to be cut in here put on my repo and the repo is here and there was already a package this one which was just a make package not a shroud control v it's exactly the same well it's not exactly the same thing but it's for the end user it's exactly the same thing it's gonna be the brief browser updating my package here update brave and then shrewd that's what i did and of course 70 megabyte takes the time it takes to update and on my other computer there are already updates going on so they're fighting for the bandwidth the upload bandwidth so let's pause the video so like i told you it's going to complain warning large files detected uh, but at some point in time it says nope no nothing more um, the maximum size is 
100 and recommended is 50. So that happens with all these bigger packages that we are stuck with uh, building it ourselves. But why are we doing this again? Oh yeah, why? Because if you have your own installation, so let's do a clean install, remember, clean installation. Okay, fine, what you do, you go to your etc pacman.conf, you add your own repos, three lines, you add your own repo, then you save it, you're going to do an update, which means you tell Pacman, go and have a look on all these websites, this is uh, repos, what's in there, that's not from us, it just happens to be an update. And now you can see online in the repository, repo, uh, repo teaching of teaching repo, that Bravebin is here and Openbox Teams Bamboo is here. So I can actually just, well, let's remove it. Let's say that's not there. You didn't see that. It's not there officially. So you have this possibility now to, after a clean installation, just say sugo pacman minus s brave because no, normally what you will do is type in brave and then go and have a look and you'll just take this one but we now have a choice between our own repo and this one now what will happen let's say in a month's time brave bin will be updated and will become 67 and yours will be 60 six still actually that's not a problem for you personally probably but never mind i mean be alert be on your alert that that's gonna happen which means rebuilding the package if you want to have the last update but for now yay is not necessary because you have your own repo you can just press this button say yes go bam and it's super fast installed there is some cleaning up to do so again did you see what I did yes enter and let's go again and there you go it's installed done so that's of course a lot faster if you pre-build it yourself put it on your personal Arch Linux repo somewhere with a name the teachings are there the videos and articles are there and then you can maybe um, well, use some more flexibility because it will be available at any time, your repo, you're the master of the repo, you put on the repo what you want, you either update, you don't update, it's your thing. Nobody needs to ask you anything, you're the boss of your own repo, you put on there what you want. All right, last thing, again, I repeat the power that these tutorials give you. If you have your own repo, this also means that I can now make a Arch Linux B. All right? I think everything is deleted. No, it's not deleted. So if we're making again, we were making a tutorial here how to add Adi Pambudi's open box themes, but actually this means. I can now put in Brave Bin as well. That's the power. That's the tutorials. If you like that power, then follow the tutorials and the videos. Cheers.